Good morning, my friends, and welcome back to the channel. We have the good old trusty storage unit for the inflatable booth hooked behind the truck today, and that means one thing and one thing only. We are aiming to paint today the white Civic Type R. Now, I've learned my lesson in the past with trying to rush paint jobs, so I'm not gonna rush anything today, but in reality, all we have is a front bumper and a fender. So if we cannot get that prepped on sprayed today, being that it's so early right now, then I, uh, I'm slow. Of course, we are not painting outside today. It is about nine degrees and that would not work. So we are setting up the inflatable booth in the shop today. So I gotta pull a few cars out and then we can bring the booth in here. I'm just gonna let it chill for a while. Kind of get it acclimated to the warmer temperature and then get to prepping. All right, so here are the only two pieces we need to spray today. And this is the original bumper off the car. It got pretty scraped up on this edge here, so it does need a, a little bit of a uh, little bit of body work, nothing crazy. The rest of it appears pretty much perfect. Front fender, this is of course not the original fender off the car. This is the one I found on eBay actually. I was hoping to just get it in and be able to slop it on the car, but it showed up and there's some pretty decent sized scratches there chipped paint there and then on this very very back edge let's go ahead and start getting some stuff prepped out this bumper needs to be fully disassembled all the fogs the grill all that stuff off the lip and then we can start a little bit of body work here So the bumper is fully disassembled. Of course, the most important thing if we're gonna spray it today is to get a little bit of primer on that as soon as possible. Ideally, you would wanna wait 24 hours, but the shop is so freaking warm right now. It's pretty much an oven in here, so it's gonna dry very, very fast. So let's grab, hmm, let's grab some 600. On the DA and try and smooth it out as best as possible. I don't think it's gonna need any filler. Just a touch, a touch of primer, just so there's no bare plastic and we should be in the clear to paint. So all those little white areas you see, that, 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 and the scrapes up there, those all need to be filled. So I'm gonna grab some 40 grit, 40 grit, get it nice and scuffed up, toss a little bit of filler in there. And being that we are doing filler work, I am opting to do a license plate delete. It's a little bit messed up up here. So we may as well fill those at the same time.
The center of the bumper was actually quite a bit worse than I initially thought, so it has a little more filler than I would like, but a lot of that's gonna be sanded off. The majority of the body work we did, I just grabbed a heat gun, and if it's a high spot, I'll heat it up, push it in, low spot, heat it up, push it out from the backside, and then kind of sand and go from there. But I want this thing, of course, perfect as always. I hate settling for anything less, so I decided to just completely reshape the whole entire center section. Grabbing some 180 on the Dura block now, just a nice stiff block, and gonna go ahead and smooth these out. So all of the main filler work is finished up. We are gonna move on, and I was done with this flexible glaze here. Specifically made four bumpers. Now we're moving on to the glaze. This is a finishing putty. I like to use this before the primer. Just fills in any sort of tiny little defects that may be left over. And it can go over scuffed paint as well, which is cool. So let's go ahead and mix some of this up and slap it down on the bumper. It dries in, I think about three minutes. And then we're gonna hit that with 220 and then 400 and then we should be ready for primer. Wasting no time at all, moving right to the front fender. So we're just gonna grab a little bit of glaze. I already sanded the areas. Touch of glaze right there, touch of glaze right there, touch of glaze right there. The only area that I'm gonna prime on this fender is this tiny, tiny area right here. And there's actually a dent on this fender I'm not gonna be taken care of. There's a little dent back here, but if we take care of that dent and have to spray base back here, then I would wanna blend it onto the door, which I do not wanna do that. My PDR guy can take care of that in about five minutes. So I'm gonna leave that tiny little ding for him. Let's go get these guys filled in and I'll show you what I do after they're filled. And I'm gonna be filling with a razor blade instead of with that guy. So I'm gonna scrape the highs off first with a blade, a new blade. And that's not ready to scrape yet. So let's finish up the front bumper. All right, bumper is 100% ready for primer. There's the center section up close and then the damage from the wreck, nice and smooth. Actually finished it off with 600. So that's ready, now let's try this again. So you can see all you're left with is that low spot. And then I'm gonna grab a little touch of 600.
Smooth it out and we're done. So I just put down the last coat of primer on the bumper. You can tell how nice and smooth that looks now. No holes, no nothing there. That should be freaking beautiful. So I'm gonna let this harden up and dry for a few hours. I'm gonna probably give it five or six hours, then it'll come back and sand it all down. We only did a tiny, tiny bit of primer on the fender, just where the bare area was. Every time we use this thing, I'm amazed at how freaking massive it is. This is the biggest one, as far as I know, the biggest one that they offer. And it fits perfectly in the shop. So we can still paint in the winter time when I do not feel like bugging other people to use their booth. Being that it's only a bumper and fender today, I'm pretty confident in just spraying this stuff out here. Should be pretty easy. Plus I do want to get more, more better, for lack of a better word, at just painting here. I want to spray a whole car in the booth again. I did the whole STI and it turned out good. So the next full spray I think I wanna do in this inflatable booth in the shop with a temperature controlled environment. We can turn it all the way up to I think 90 is the max we can get it in here, which obviously is a little warm. I personally like it around 80-ish when spraying. All right, let's go ahead and get the fender and bumper scuffed up all the way with just some gray Scotch-Brite and 800 grit, and we are ready to start painting. It's only one o'clock, we have the rest of the day, and like I said earlier, being that we're doing it in the shop today, we don't have to worry about light, and we do not have to worry about temperature, which is the two main issues I always run into when painting outside. So we have the fender fully prepped out. That's good to go. Front bumper is also 100% ready to go. You guys saw I did a little, hopefully you can hear me fine, it's kind of loud in here. I did a little color testing on our old front fender. Color is 110% spot on, so I'm not worried about color match at all. Super stoked there. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get these parts cleaned up with wax and grease remover, tack them off, and spray down some color. I am excited. Today's going good, it's going smooth, and I know these parts are gonna turn out perfect.
right, the first two coats are done. We got one coat left and we're done. Finally did it. I accomplished a few pretty big goals today. Goal number one, a start to finish paint job. Granted it was only a bumper and a fender, but still a bumper is kind of a lot of prep work. Goal number two, actually getting a quality paint job out of the inflatable booth, which I'll show you guys here in a second. We definitely accomplished that. And I think it's about it. I don't know, I'm delusional, I'm tired, and it's damn cold. It's so cold the thermostat just says low. It doesn't even have a temperature on it. But check this out. I know you guys wanna see the color match on the car, but I'm not gonna put them on till tomorrow, of course, because it is late and I'm tired. But we sprayed a little bit up here on the fender. You cannot tell that I did any paint work on the fender. And damn, look at this bumper. Look at how this thing turned out. That whole center section is absolutely spotless and where all the damage was from the wreck. Let's see if we could find any imperfections other than a little bit of dirt we gotta pull out. There's a little nick there we could've made a little bit better. I wonder if I got any runs. And look how flat it is too. I'm very pleased. I'm very impressed. As always, a little bit of dirt with the inflatable booth, but I must say this is by far times a thousand my best paint job I've ever landed. Out of the inflatable booth, it's better than the hatch. It's way better than Bobby's ST or Evo, of course. And I don't know, there's some other things I've done out of the booth that just, you know, they haven't turned out the best, but the Type R, Type R just love me. And I don't know what I'm saying, but I'm gonna wrap this video up right here. Big shout outs to you guys. <laughs> I don't know, what am I saying? Big shout out to you guys for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed and uh, Stick to your goals and you will learn how to paint one day as well. All right, good night.